Escape on foot because roads will liquefy and start running when you hear dogs barking. Geographers offer advice on how to survive the earthquake predicted to obliterate the Pacific Northwest. Cascadia, Mgathrust, fault line is 1,000 kilometers long from California to Canada. It will clash with 700 square mile plate and Pacific Ocean causing tsunami. Only way to escape is on foot as roads will liquefy. Geographers say. Start running when you hear dogs barking, they will be reacting to the sound of compressional waves which humans cannot hear. Citizens will have 20 minutes to walk or run to higher ground. Scientists have outlined their alarmingly unhelpful tips on how to survive the earthquake that will hit the Pacific Northwest. The killer quake along Cascadia, a fault line which runs from Cape Mendocino, California, to Vancouver Island, Canada, is 72 years overdue, according to peer-reviewed studies. A 700-mile chunk of the Pacific Ocean slides under Canada and America, causing the entire coastal region to sink at least six feet. When, not if, it arrives, it is unlikely the people of coastal Oregon, Washington and California will be able to escape. But if they want to try, there are a few tips they should keep in mind. Run, don't drive to higher ground, says Kevin Couples, the city planner for the town of Seaside, Oregon, in an interview with The New Yorker. The force of the quake will cause liquefaction, when solid ground acts like liquid, across vast swathes of the porous region. In the areas that aren't liquefied, the highways will likely be crumpled by landslides, with 30,000 avalanches set to hit Seattle alone. Citizens will have a 20 minute interval to climb to the highest altitude possible before the full force of the tsunami hits, scientists predict. Their alert will be when dogs start barking. The first sign the quake is coming will be a set of compressional waves, only audible by dogs. Then there will be the quake, then 20 minutes later, the tsunami. Geographers estimate that many could survive just by walking, however, they need to be going at least 3.5 miles per hour. If everyone ups their average speed from 2.5 miles per hour to 3.5 miles per hour, the death toll drops to 15,970. About 70% of them would be in Washington, nearly 30% in Oregon and only 4% in California. And there is no point being a hero. When the tsunami is coming, you run. Jay Wilson, the chair of the Oregon Seismic Safety Policy Advisory Commission, tells the New Yorker. You protect yourself, you don't turn around, you don't go back to save anybody. You run for your life. The only other safety measure is to relocate away from the Pacific Northwest. The Cascadia earthquake fault zone lies underwater between 40 and 80 miles offshore of the Pacific Northwest coastline. Earthquake scientists have listening posts along the coast from Vancouver Island to Northern California, and have been using ships to drop off and later retrieve ocean bottom seismographs. These record for up to a year right on top of the fault zone. However, they have detected few signs of the grinding and slipping they expected. Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmean.webs.com.